What's up y'all, it's your girl, she's Priceless, and I'm back here with another video. And today I'm doing something that honestly terrifies me. Um, this is gonna be another one of those videos that we're gonna cry together, we're gonna laugh, and we're gonna get through this because this is the ultimate growth for me. Um, I am cutting off my hair. only been two seconds in this video you're already crying okay um I'm cutting off my hair and I'm gonna tell y'all why so for the past few years I have been in in and out of phases of depression and um the last year the past year has been extremely hard for me um I've had I've had people walk into my life. Um, I've had people walk out of my life. I've been sick. I um, haven't healed properly from things. Um, I latched on to things that were trying to, that I tried to distract myself from. Um, I didn't forgive people the way that I needed to. I my legs are extremely ashy. <laughs> um, yeah. The other mention is currently two thirty in the morning. <sighs> um, I'm gonna cry my lashes off. So I am in this state where everything in my life is going wrong. Every possible aspect of my life that could go wrong is going wrong. It's going left. Um, and I had to sit back in, try to figure out what was going wrong. And it took like months and months and months and months and months to finally figure out what God was telling me. He was telling me, you need to take care of yourself. You need to love yourself. Um, I think the root of the problem starts from a lot of things. Um, my abandonment issues, my trust issues, my daddy issues. Um, somebody's dropping stuff on my ceiling and I don't appreciate it. Um, a lot of things. And I have to let that go. I have to let that go to be a stronger woman. I have to let that go to move on. I have to let that go. Um, and after I experienced my assault, I felt like there was a sort of power that was taken from me. And when that happened, I was just, I did not care about myself I just did not care about anything my grades slipped I slipped I just started talking to anybody to anything and I was just trying to feel something to get something that was taken away from me and I didn't realize that that had affected me to the point where I did not recognize toxic things that were happening in my life toxic people that were in my life and situations that I held on to that I should have let go when I first saw the when I saw the first times. Um so I know y'all like so what like what bring what why are you cutting your hair off? Y'all honestly I'm like I'm going through a crisis. Like I um I think I have my whatever that ghetto shit y'all call your first love or whatever. I don't know if what exactly it was, but um, I know that I'm extremely heartbroken. <laughs> I know that my feelings got hurt in a way that they have never gotten hurt before. And it's one thing for you, for me to have um, open up and trust somebody and try to build and I just did so much for somebody that could not reciprocate me or could not see me or love me the way that I knew I needed to be. 
and I just waited and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for them to see me and they could and they couldn't and they hurt me bad they hurt me so bad and it's like <laughs> opening up to somebody and letting them know all the stuff that has that is wrong with you that that has hurt you and for them to turn around and do that same shit to you that's a different love and it's just like um i'm over it y'all i am over it like that was the that was that was the straw that broke the camel's back like i was like i can't do this i can't i was like it really be the ones that you I don't even want to go into that much detail because I don't feel I'm trying to let go of that hurt because at first I was sad I was just sad sad and sad for weeks 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 months and you know I was like okay we're gonna work on it we're gonna work on it and um to be lied to to be led on to be mistreated to be used after all, you have tried to do everything for somebody that messes you up in a way that is irreparable because I had like I said I had them trust issues I had them daddy issues I had them abandonment issues I've never ever had a man come into my life that has stayed every man that has came into my life has left every last one of them every last one of them. everybody always abandons me when I need it the most okay and that 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 took a toll on me y'all so as I'm coming going through the stages of grief or whatever it had it gave me a lot of time for reflection and it made me realize that God was showing me signs throughout the whole entire time throughout the entire time like I was getting these messages from Micaiah um, about letting go I was like I was just praying to God. I was just praying 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 for this person praying praying for every like I was basically mothering this person <laughs> because that's all I because I couldn't take care of myself because I couldn't love myself because I couldn't because I just felt like I didn't deserve to be loved and I didn't deserve to be cared for in the way that I knew I should have been and that takes a toll that took a toll on me um and I lost I lost myself trying to help somebody else and it left me with nothing. It left me with nothing. And it left me broken. It left me upset. It left me angry. It just left me feeling, having so many different feelings inside of me that I I can't really explain. <laughs> but I know that I want a drastic change in my life. And I know I want to let go because I don't want to be an emotional prisoner to any situation. I don't want to be an emotional prisoner to anything because I have goals, I have ambition. I have things like I know what I deserve in this life. I know how I should be treated. I know, I know, like I know it. But I have to start believing that I deserve it. And this isn't just just because I got my feelings hurt, y'all. <laughs> that's that's just what was like the, the tip of the iceberg.
I just want to be the best version of myself. And I want to let go. I want to forgive. I ain't at that level of Jesus yet, but I want to be able to forgive and to move on and to not feel like wake up feeling like wake up feeling like a piece of me is missing or wake up feeling like I'm undeserving or sad or just I don't want to be reminded of it every day I don't want to be reminded of this hurt of everything and it's like I said it's so hard because there's just so much things going on in my personal life that I'm not gonna disclose to you too because I just this it just it doesn't just affect me like there's so much going on with my family back at home it's just so much going on and it's so hard not being in control like I hate not being in control of the things that are going on in my life I just hate being out of control. And this is me trying to gain control, trying to start over, trying to start fresh. So yeah, <laughs> here's to new beginnings. Here's to loving yourself. And I've always obsessed over here. I know I'm probably gonna hate this. I'm, I'm gonna look up, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna think I'm ugly. I'm gonna go, but it's okay. But I want myself to understand that it is okay to be hurt right now. It's okay to experience all the feelings that I'm feeling right now because I cannot suppress it any longer. I've suppressed things all of my life and I don't know how to express myself sometimes. I don't know how to open up to people. I don't know how to, how to just listen to my intuition because I, like, like I said, I'm basically psychic. <laughs> I have very, very, very strong intuition and so much that like, I can speak, like I speak things into existence that happen. I just, and when I, I I have really strong feelings about things and they always end up coming true so I just have to listen to that so it's okay to be hurt right now it's okay to feel and experience everything that I'm feeling right now but it's not okay to stay in that hurt it's not okay to not want something better it's it's not okay to not move on. It's not okay to not let that hurt go. It's okay. I have to be honest with myself and how I'm feeling, but I gotta let it go eventually. So this is gonna be very hard for me, but we're gonna get through it. My hair is growing so much and my hair honestly grows so fast that I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be like, girl, what? Yeah, and I recently trimmed it, so. <sighs> yeah. Let's see y'all. I'm gonna set my phone up here. Let's go. Some, 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 some. So, and she bad, bad, bad. What I want y'all to remember is it's so it is okay to experience everything to, to to just get it out. Get it out, we gotta move on, we gotta grow, we gotta move forward. This is me getting out, getting it out, and moving forward. So let's get it. I just took my braids out, so if you see like that, that's like residue for my braids. Oh my god, there's braids back here. What the heck? Hold on, y'all. Let's get these braids out. So 
sorry y'all. Y'all was ready to snip, snip, ho. Snip, snip, ho. It ain't nothing cause that we talk. Snip, snip, ho. Snip, snip, ho. Hair, it's just hair, it grows back. It's just hair, it grows back. So I have to keep telling myself because my friends are being very dramatic. I know I'm being very dramatic, but they're being even more dramatic. And like, y'all can't, y'all can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. We both can't be dramatic. Like, what's going on? What's going on? I can't believe I'm actually doing this. My hair is so beautiful. I love my hair so much. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, I love Afrocentric things. My backdrop is like a big afro. I don't want to think about it too much. I'm just going to do it. Just be a good Nike boy and just do it. And you know, if we hate it, there's always wigs. You know, maybe, maybe I'll just be, maybe I won't be cute anymore and niggas can leave me alone for the rest of my life. Until, you know, one of y'all wants to take me seriously. I look like Cynthia. These ponytails are not equal in no way, shape, or form. <sighs> okay, y'all. I'm so nervous. y'all i'm about to be very dramatic i'm filming a youtube video right now so if i'm looking there i am doing a big job i already cried and i'm probably gonna cry some more but <sighs> i'm so nervous i'm about to be bald headed it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's gonna be okay
guys. Oh my gosh, I really just did this. Oh my gosh, I'm insane, I'm crazy, I'm literally insane. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh, this is probably like all types of messed up. Wow. I honestly feel so much better. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna be boohooing. It ain't nothing, cut that bit off. Snip, snip. Like I said, my hair grows back so fast, I'm not even that pressed. I don't know how short I wanna go, like at all. Wow. I didn't expect anyone to be on here, but it's okay. Just cut my hair. Oh my gosh. Girl, who do you think you are? Look at my skeet little ponytail. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm gonna have to like get somebody to like go over it. I'm gonna wake up and just start crying. <laughs> like, this is just a dream. This is not real. Oh. 
shoot, I'm about to be a real Howard woman. You know, you you're not a Howard woman till you cut your hair off. Sorry, I'm like looking at this mess. <sighs> wow, I'm really gonna wake up and be like, girl, what? What are you doing? I should call my friends. Short, I should go. Go to sleep. No, I'm chopping my shit off. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, ultimate lit life crisis. Y'all thought I was playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna wake up and be like, what is wrong with me? <sighs> yeah, I just, I feel so much better. On some real, I feel so much better. I'm probably gonna panic when I wash my hair and be like, why is my hair so short? But it's okay. My friends did not think I was going to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. You the fool. I feel like I need to cut somewhere off the top. Now I got to see happy. Huh. I'm real life doing this. It's gone. My hair is gone. I'm about here to be. Real life ball headed. No niggas are gonna want me. <laughs> uh, oh Lord, have mercy. I don't know how short I'm trying to go. I can't even, oh, I can't even pull off. I cannot put my hair in a ponytail. I look like a nigga now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know this mess is like so uneven. So maybe I should go dip this underwater in water and like come back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This has been Elise going through a midlife crisis. I'm gonna be right back, y'all, cause I'm gonna wet my hair and then see what we work it with. I'm freaking crazy, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Can I end this shit? How do you end it? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go wash this and then come back. 
Okay, so my lashes got wet. <laughs> that was a mess. And now I'm ugly now. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's all right. We can work with it. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. Cause I'm bow head. I ain't got no hair on the side. I know y'all probably like, at least if you don't go to a professional, and I'm like, mind your business. This is my life, life crisis, not yours. Please mind your business. My curl pattern looks so nice. Oh my god, I'm literally like, what's wrong with me? It's crack, I'm sorry y'all. It's literally crack. Like, I, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed soon and think about my. Oh shoot, I cut that really short. Mm, I had to be bald headed. <sighs> Wasn't trying to be that bald headed. Apparently, I am. You know what? I'm about to go get my head shaved. Do it for the views. I ain't gonna do it actually. No, I'm really like freaking crazy. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm just gonna be like, You did what? Be like, it's a new journey, girl. You better not talk to none of them old niggas in the past. You don't cut your hair in everything, <laughs> everything cool. I don't want to hear it. Oh, she cute, y'all. Yeah, cute little bro. I'm gonna have to go to the shop and get this fixed, cause, wow. Like, what's wrong with me? Is it crackulies? Is it crack that you smoke? Evidently. <laughs> now there's still some long pieces. Oh, wow, that's like really long. It's kind of nasty. Wow. All my boyfriends are gonna dump me. It's okay though. They want shit, no way. Um, I'm probably just gonna style it in the morning, but yeah, so this is me looking like a little nigga. The little nigga I am. Me in my true form. And I feel great. I feel amazing. I didn't cry as much as I thought I was gonna cry. 
had to share a little gangster tea or whatever. But yeah, y'all, I'm really bald headed. <laughs> Your girl is bald headed. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is actually hilarious. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm excited for what life has to offer me. <sighs> Even though I look crazy. Even though I'm looking a little crazy. I'm gonna try some finger waves. I gotta wake up early and do that mask because Girl, I'm not walking out looking. Oh, he just got Ain't got no hair in the back. Y'all yeah, wanna see something funny? I'm gonna call Maya. Should I put that in the video? Them reacting to it? I'm finna call her. Wow, I look so crazy. It's like when I'm gonna be my face tomorrow, I'm gonna be a bad bitch. It was later and I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, honestly, I think my hair is going to be back by like February. <laughs> it's going to be back by February. Like, I honestly truly feel like I'm, I really just cut off my hair off. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Wow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe these are like the stages of grief. Yeah, your girl is definitely going through it. My mom's gonna be like, what the heck, Elise? It's like three o'clock in the morning. I doubt anybody is up. Yeah, if Maya's up, <laughs> it's cough. not gonna answer. Oh my god, look at this long little tail right there. I think I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> hey Siri. FaceTime Lizzie. Now she didn't answer. So yeah, y'all. Nobody loves me. Hey Siri. FaceTime sister. What would you like to know about sister? I'm, I'm, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> yes, I, mm, I cut my hair. Oh shit, I ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. It's okay. 
big chop. I know it was coming soon. Yeah, man. I'm gonna try to do finger waves in the morning. If not, I'm gonna put my wig on, but it's all gone. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hate it, but it's okay. It'll grow on me. Let your natural tresses soft. I gotta get you some conditioner. Oh, yes. I already thought about, well, I've thought about cutting my hair, but you know what? I'm just not way going to call today. I'm dead. But yeah, that's all. But I'm tired. I have to open. So. Yikes. What time is it? Three, three in the morning. All right, love you. I love the hair, black girl, all that, all that good stuff. You look good, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll be talking to you later. Bye. Bye. These bitches for the cloud, me. But yeah, yeah, um, I did it. I feel amazing. I feel free. I feel, I feel great. And I'm going to style it in the morning. So here's to new journeys, to, to all that good stuff. And if you're thinking about cutting your hair, do it. Even if you're going to cry in the morning. I fully support. This is, I'm letting go, y'all. Letting go. This is Y'all, I just, oh my gosh. I cry. I'm not crying because I just cut off my hair. I'm crying because I really, honestly, feel like, truly, truly, truly believe something amazing is about to happen in my life. And I don't know what it is yet, but I know it's coming. And... too much for it not to go so <sighs> I love y'all so 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 much and um <laughs> he said this being girl she's priceless I'm a bald headed bitch now <laughs> bye So basically, the do rag did not work. So I just put some more gel on it and loose, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Oh, me. Wait, you check. Wait, you check. On my toes? Atrocious. Okay, the back, don't want to act right. <sighs> but yeah. This is what I look like. But yeah, y'all. Um, so this is my finger wave attempt. Obviously it failed because I just ended up slicking my hair back. Um, but now I'm about to do my big announcement on Instagram. And look, child. <sighs> this is me. This is... This is a new me, and I'm excited. And it's time, it's time to let it go. It's time to let everything go. We have some grown woman stuff now, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go take my pictures and drop the big news.